numerical solution of a Harding differential equation by Picard's method. So, what is what's happening in a Picard's method, also known as a Picard's successive approximation method, Picard's successive successive approximation method, approximation method, approximation method, method to find out to solve what? To solve solve ordinary differential equation O D E O D to solve O D numerically to solve O D numerically by Picard's by Picard's successive approximation method. So what is the given? Suppose this one is a first order first degree differential equation f x y and this is the initial condition y x 0 equal y 0 the value for y at x equal x 0 is about y 0 this one is a given so it's a very simple procedure here we find what we write dy equal f x y dx so we integrate this one from y 0 to y dy and we integrate this one x0 to x fx y dx. So, if we integrate the left hand side, this become what? y minus y0 equal, we cannot integrate this one with respect to x because there is a presence of a what? There is a presence of a variable y. So, this one is a, we write 0 x fx y. So, if we simplify this one, what happened? Y become what? Y equal Y0 plus X0 to X F of XY dx. So, this one is known as an integral equation. So, this one is known as an integral equation. You cannot integrate this one without knowing the value of a Y in term of a X. So, here what uh, Picard's do means uh, he replace the value of y by the y0 means uh, a constant then this one become what this one become a function of a x because we have a value for what we have a value for y at x0 equal y0 so if we have a value for y0 then y equal this one is known as a first approximate value and y1 this one is known as a y1 y0 plus x0 to x f of x y z dx so now what is happening in a second step we replace y0 by the y dash y dash so then we denote this one is a y2 this become y0 plus x0 to x f of x y 1 dx in a similar manner, if we write a y3, y3 equal y0 plus x0 to x f of x y2 dx, y2 dx. So, this one is the values of a y after first approximation, this one is the value of a y1 after second approximation, this one is the value of a y1 after third approximation. Similarly, yn plus 1 equal what? y0 plus x0 to x f of x yn yn dx. So, this one is a what? We get a sequence of a what? Sequence of a approximate values. Means a y dash y2 not y dash y1 y3 y4 and y n plus 1. This one is a sequence of a values. Sequence of a values of a y1 means uh, we try to find out the value of a y1. So, what will happen here? So, either this sequence, if this sequence converges to the actual solution, then this one is a word. This sequence is a valid sequence, otherwise. 
means uh, if this one converges to the uh, solution, then this one is a what? Convergent sequence, otherwise this one is a divergent sequence. So always we try to find out the convergent sequence. So what is the condition for the convergent sequence? A uh, function must be a continuous and as well del f upon del y uh, is less than mod of a del f upon del y is less than a constant value means a k1 and f of x y is also less than a constant value k2 and uh, in a reason what in a reason in which uh, in a reason near to the x0 y0 so what we are going to write means uh, here del f upon del y del f upon del y is less than k1 and f of x y x y is less than k2 for the reason for the reason near to near to x0 y0 x0 y0 so this one is a way means uh, how we find this uh, solution in a uh, by the picard's method so now we try to solve one numerical problem so how we solve a numerical problem based on a Picard successive approximation method. Solve, what is the example? Example means we try to solve this one. Solve, solve dy by dx equal x plus y, x plus y and initial condition is a given y0 equal 1 by Picard's method by Picard's method, by Picard's method, and find, find, find y 0.1. Differential equation dy by dx equal x plus y. What is the initial condition is the given? Initial condition is a y 0 equal 1. Means at x equal 0, what is the value for y? 1. What is need to find out? 0.1 means uh, to find out the value of 0.1. So now what is the uh, Picard's method? So what is the solution? Solution become what? Solution become uh, by Picard's method, by Picard's method, Picard's method, method, what is the value? Means uh, y n plus 1 equal y n plus 1 equal y 0 plus x 0 to x f of x y n y n so first we put what n equal 0 then what is the value of y 1 so here if we compare here what is the value of f x y here this one is d x so y1 equal y1 equal if we put n equal to 0 n equal to 0 y1 equal what y0 plus x0 to x f of x and y0 dx now we put the values of x0 and y0 what is the value of x0 x0 be the 0 and y0 be the 1 so what is the value of y1 y1 become y1 become 1 plus x0 with a 0, 0 to x, f of x, y0, f of x and y0 is a what? y0 is a 1, dx. So if we put here, this become 1 plus 0 to x. Here, this one is fxy. fxy is a what? x plus y. So in place of a x, we put x. In place of a y, we put what? 1 so this become 1 plus x dx so after integration this become 1 plus here what is the integration x plus x square by 2 0 to x so if we simplify this one this become 1 plus x plus x square by 2 this one is the value of y1 similarly what is the value of y2 y2 become what y2 become y0 plus x0 to x x0 to x 
f of x y1 dx. Now we use the value for y1. So what is the value for y1? y1 become what? y1 become y1 become what? y1 become y2 become y2 equal y0 y0 here we write the value for y0 what is the y0 y0 is a 1 y0 is a 1 1 plus 0 to x because x0 is a 0 f of x and y1 is a what 1 plus x plus x square by 2 dx now y2 become what 1 plus 0 to x in place of a x we put x in place of a y we put 1 plus x plus x square by 2 so this become x plus 1 plus x plus x square by 2 dx so if we simplify this one 1 plus x x become 2 x so if we integrate integration of a 1 become x plus 2 x x square by 2 means x square plus this become what x cube by uh, 2 x square 2 x cube sorry x cube by 6 x cube by 6 and 0 to x 0 to x so what is the value of y2 y2 become 1 plus x plus x square x square plus x cube by 6 in a similar manner what is the value of y3 y3 1 plus x plus x square plus here we noted down the value for this one value for this one is the x cube by 3 x cube by 3 x cube by 3 plus x to power 4 by 24 so this one is the value of y3 now if this one is the value of y3 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 now here we put what we put y equal x equal 0 0.1 once we put y x equal 0 0.1 here then we find the value for what then we find the value for y1 so here not here we put the value here means uh, if we erase out this one if we erase out this one what is the solution solution become what y3 means uh, y3 after third approximation 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube by 3 plus x to power 4 by 24 so if we put here x equal to 0 0.1 then we find what y is 0 0.1 after third approximation 1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.1 cube divided by 3 plus 0 0.1 to power 4 divided by 24 so if we simplify this one what is the result the result become i have already noted down the value for this one y 0.1 become what 1 point 1 point 3374 so this one is the value for what this one is the value for this one is the value for y at x equals 0.1 so this one is the Picard successive approximation method. So if you closely observe this procedure, this one is not a totally numerical, numerical, uh, numerical base. This one is a semi-numerical base. Means first we find a expression in form of a x, then we find what? Then we find a numerical value. So similarly, Taylor series solution method is also are not a totally based on a numerical value, and Taylor series solution is also a semi numerical value means a taylor series solution method and picard successive approximation method are semi numerical value so first we find a, a function in term of a x then we put x equal 0 0.1 0 0.2 whatever the value desired so that's why uh, 
these methods are is not considered uh, very suitable for the to solve uh, any algorithm with the help of a uh, computers so that's the end of uh, this lecture thank you thank you watching my video